and action. Let's go. <gasps> uh, welcome to um, another edition of CBB's five out of five movie reviews. Uh, <clears throat> Last time we discussed Coco, Disney Pixar's Coco, which I give a 5 out of 5 to for its brilliant design. Um, but today is all about the the Black Panther himself. Yes, the uh, the Wakandan uh, Black Panther himself, uh, Prince T'Challa, Prince T'Challa, um, which is in the next Marvel movie in uh, the series. It's been going on for 10 years now, Marvel, uh, starting in 2008 with Iron Man, or the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and has carried on uh, to the next uh, movie uh, in their kind of like lineup uh, with Black Panther, which is um, the story of uh, Prince T'Challa um, trying to find his place in, um, in Wakanda, you know, because of his father's death from Captain America Civil War. Spoilers, yep, if you haven't watched Captain America Civil War, Go and watch that before you watch Black Panther. Um, but yes, you know, from his father's death, like, he is now to take the throne. Um, so he's out there trying to save the day, you know, trying to protect his people. Um, and we're going through this story of uh, the African culture, etc., uh, etc. Et um, we, you know, at the beginning of the movie, there's definitely a lot of plot that you need to kind of be listening into. Because that, 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 like, references to later on during the film. So we have um, Prince Charla, you know, carrying on, um, you know, we have, like, him trying to fight for the throne because, like, you know, uh, he has to, like, fight for his place, like, it's not like you can just get given king, you have to, like, be proven that you're worthy for the, the challenge. So, you know, he does that, he battles one of the, um, the, um, the Umbako, uh, that's what, which is, like, the, the monkey tribe, and I think in, like, the original comics, like, there was, like, a monkey tribe that, like, uh, to, uh, like the Black Panther tried to fight and that sort of stuff. So it, it does relate, like, to comics and that sort of stuff in that sort of sense and to the other TV series that you might have watched The Avengers before. We go on uh, to then uh, finding out about Andy Serkis' character, which is Uselis Claw, uh, being in the picture and the idea that um, the, the, the Black Panther, like, wants and the Wakanda tribe want him, want, want to, like, bring him back for those crimes he's done. Uh, to Wakanda because, you know, we've seen uh, Andy Serkis' character, Eustace Claw, in Avengers Ed Voltron, which is where, like, Wakanda started up, and that was the first kind of, like, wow, like, Wakanda's in it, and that's what stuff, and we're going to get to see a Black Panther movie later on, etc., etc. Um, but his character's come back with, like, a plastic arm. Uh, yes, you know, because his arm got chopped off by Ultron. Spoilers again, Age of Ultron, 2015, go on back, go watch that as well. So there's two movies to catch up on uh, before you go watch Black Panther. <clears throat> And, you know, from there, uh, we go on to, uh, to meet our, our villain of the movie. <clears throat> now, what I was saying about the beginning of the movie, because at, at the beginning of the movie, you're, like, in, like, the 1950s, or, like, you know, you're, like, you're back in the past, basically, you know, you're not in the modern day, uh, which, like, they did with, like, Ant-Man and the Wasp and, like, Captain America's Civil War and other Marvel movies, they have gone back in time and showed, like, the backstory before, like, the full story. Um, and in the backstory, you see, like, <clears throat> you know... Uh, T'Challa, the, the, the Black Panther's father's character in the Black Panther suit. Um, and you also see um, the Black Panther's uncle in that scene as well. Now, the uncle had a child, and that child is Michael B. Jordan, who is uh, the bad guy, which is Killmonger, um, known for his name through, like, uh, like, the army that he trained in and that sort of stuff. And that's, that's his name that he's been given. Now, Killmonger tries to take over, shall I say, Wakanda. Um, if he succeeds, it's a different question. You'll have to find that out in the movie. Uh, but, you know, we do see his character come to Wakanda to try to, you know, fight the Black Panther. Um, and he, as he really wants to have the throne um, and show the the world, like, what is, like, what Wakanda's got out there for them. Because, like, Wakanda's quite secretive. You know, it's, it's kept to himself. And it's it's definitely new and unusual, and it's not, you know, like, people don't really know about it. Like, Martin Freeman's character's in there from Captain America's Civil War. So you see his character come back, uh, General Ross, and, you know, you see, like, him find out about Wakanda, because he doesn't seem to believe it. But in the end, he does. Um, but yeah, you know, like, the, the film uh, story, it goes on, and then there's a, a big battle scene towards the end. Not gonna say who's fighting who. Um, you know, does 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 Black Panther get back his powers? Does Black Panther not get back his powers? There are though 
two end credit scenes. And I'm not going to spoil them for you, but one is kind of declaring, like, from what I've heard or like what I pictured of it, it was like well, Wakanda, like it was like T'Challa's character, it was Chasmic, Chasmic Boseman's character coming out and saying, hello guys, like we're Wakanda and we're going to come out to the world. And it was kind of reminded of uh, Tony Stark's I Am Iron Man scene. Um, from the first Iron Man movie, kind of in that same relation. And in the second uh, part of uh, the end credit scene, the last one, say to the end guys, there are two, um, you, see, um, you, see, you see a Bucky. <gasps> and I'm not going to say what, but you do see a Bucky. Now, if you watch Captain America Civil War, you go watch that end credit scene, you'll find out about why he's in Wakanda. Or if he is in Wakanda, I don't know, who knows. Spoiler free guys, there are spoilers in this video, so spoiler! That was the, that's the main plot of, um, of the Black Panther movie. The Black Panther movie. And I loved the culture, I loved the culture. Yes, it took a while to get into the film. Um, and I think there were times when I was just sitting there and I was like, oh come on, that's what's gonna happen now, and it's gonna happen now, and that's what stuff. Like, Michael B. Jordan's character, the villain, was probably a very, very good villain, I do feel like. Um, he was a very, very good constructed villain. Um, you know, like, because sometimes you want to, like, it's a hate or love relationship with him because, like, you see him and you're like, oh, am I going to hate him or am I going to love him, etc., etc. So it is one of those, like, oh, do you, don't you? Because, you know, you can relate to the, his character. Um, but also, uh, I just thought there was, it was a bit slow. Um, and of course, obviously being a different genre of movie, like it's not going to have the same effect as Coco did, where I'm crying my eyes out at the end of the movie, like, you know, having some tears come down. But the, with, the, the, with the overall uh, arc of it, like, it's great. Like, it, it's, a, it's, it's so nice to see, like, a black culture movie and to not see it, like, get whitewashed. There are only two uh, white actors in it. I think that's, that's Martin Freeman and Andy Serkis' character. Everyone else is, like, of a black culture, which is really nice to see in a movie because I know some movies uh, in the past have been cultured around a certain franchise or certain genre or certain country and they get whitewashed by American actors. Uh, like look at the new Aladdin movie that Disney are making, like they were going to whitewash it with um, with male actors or like female actors that were of American but no they, they scrapped that and allowed it to be so it's good that you know Disney are fighting for it and it's nice to see movies become like that and get a bit more um, into it. Um, but now uh, overall you know like I liked it. I thought it was a very, very good Marvel movie. It's different. Um, I think sometimes, like, I'm sitting in this cinema and being like, oh, it's just another Marvel movie. Ugh. But even though I love Marvel movies, I really do. And if you know me as a person, you know I love Marvel movies. But yeah, it was a good movie. I'd highly recommend checking it out. Um, a, for the, the culture. B, because it's, like, our first black superhero, which is really cool. Um, C, like, just because, like, it's nice to, um, you know, carry on that franchise. Like, you know, if you start something, you kind of got to go all the way through. So don't, like, just kind of leave it in the shadows. Like, if you miss a movie, you miss a movie. And then you've missed, like, loads of stuff uh, in the process. Uh, but now, apart from that, I hope you've, uh, you've enjoyed my review video. And now, guys, it's time for me to give you my lights, camera, action. Rating, rating, rating. I've got a clapper board now, so that's better since the last video. Um, my, my review of it... So I was tossing and turning of this. Like I wanted to give it a five. It came out and it wasn't a five. I'm sorry, guys. Instead, though, it was a four. <clears throat> it was a four point four. Yes, it is a good movie. It is a good movie. Good movie. Not great for a four point five. Four point five though. It's a four point four. Okay, four point four. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but this is this is my review, and I, like I said, I really did like the movie. I loved it. Nice black culture. You know, it was a good story. It was a good villain. It was nice to be able to see Chaswick Chaswick Boseman's character in a, just a solo film instead of Captain America: Civil War, where it was filled with all these other people, and we we're like, whoa, like well, I don't really know how to pay attention to because there are so many big names and that sort of stuff. And that's what Avengers: Infinity War is going to be like. So it is nice to have these solo movies dedicated to the certain people. But now, apart from that, I really had fun with it. Um, I think my dad was a bit like, oh, what is going on? Um, but, you know, he got a free ticket, so he can't be complaining. Um, but now, I hope you enjoyed, um, uh, you know, this this review video. See you in the next uh, movie review. See you five out of five movie reviews, which hopefully will either be The Greatest Showman, um, or uh, Early Man, I still want to go watch that, or Peter Rabbit, or Pacific Rim Uprising, which comes out in March. But now, it was a good story. I really did like it. I just wish that um, they could 
I don't know. Maybe put a bit more action in there. Like we got, we got action sequences. Like there was a good, there was the, the there was a few fight scenes in Wakanda. There was the the fight scene in in like Tokyo and Asia, and then we had like the main battle at the end. But I just wish there was a bit more. I was like ah, but you know, it was a brilliant film for the culture. The culture was the reason why I probably loved it, and was probably why it bumped up to the four point four. Because I don't think I leave it for. Uh, but now, nice to see um, black culture movie. Michael G. B. Jordan's character is amazing. Even T'Challa's character was quite good. Nice to see Andy Serkis in there because he brought some laughs and that sort of stuff. Love it. I love him in like any movie because he's, he's done well like as a person himself. And apart from that, I will see you in the next CBB's five out of five movie reviews. I'll see you soon, guys. So lights, so lights, camera, action. Four point four for Black Panther. Hope you go watch it. See you later. Bye. And if you haven't gone and checked out the soundtrack for the Black Panther movie, I'd recommend going and checking it out because there are some amazing songs on there from Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd and Scissor.